In the late 1800s and early 1900s, explorers and missionaries described the Serengeti Plains and the massive numbers of animals found there. Only minor details are all that were reported before explorations in the late 1920s and early 1930s supply the first references to the great wildebeest migrations and the first photographs of the region. An area of 2,286 square kilometers was established in 1930 as a game reserve in what is now southern and eastern Serengeti. They allowed sport hunting activities until 1,937, after which it stopped all hunting activities. In 1940 protected area status was conferred to the area, and the national park itself was established in 1951, then covering southern Serengeti and the Gorongoro Highlands. They based the park headquarters on the rim of Gorongoro Crater, so, the original Serengeti National Park. As it was gazetted in 1951, also included what now is the Gorongoro Conservation Area, NCA. In 1959, the Gorongoro Conservation Area was split off from the Serengeti National Park, and they extended the boundaries of the park to the Kenya border. The key reason for splitting off the Gorongoro area was that local Maasai residents realized that they were threatened with eviction and consequently not allowed to graze their cattle within the national park boundaries. To counter this from happening, protests were staged. A compromise was reached, wherein the Gorongoro crater area was split off from the national park. The Maasai may live and graze their cattle in the Gorongoro crater area, but not within Serengeti National Park boundaries. In 1961 the Maasai Mara National Reserve in Kenya was established, and in 1965 the Lamai wedge between the Mara River and Kenya border was added to Serengeti National Park, thus creating a permanent corridor allowing the wildebeest to migrate from the Serengeti Plains in the south to the Loida Plains in the north. The Maswa Game Reserve was established in 1962 in a small area north of the Grumeti River, in the western corridor was added in 1967. The Serengeti National Park was among the first places to be proposed as a World Heritage Site by UNESCO at 1970 to Stockholm Conference. It was formally established in 1981. The magic of Serengeti National Park is not easy to describe in words. Not only seeing but also hearing the buzz of millions of wildebeest so thick in the air that it vibrates through your entire body, is something you will try to describe to friends and family, before realizing it's impossible. Vistas of honey-lit plains at sunset so beautiful, it's worth the trip just to witness this. The genuine smiles of the Maasai people, giving you an immediate warming glow inside, or just the feeling of constantly being amongst thousands of animals, it doesn't matter what season of the migration you visit the Serengeti National Park. It's magical all year round. Serengeti National Park was one of the first sites listed as a World Heritage Site, when United Nations delegates met in Stockholm in 1981. Already by the late 1950s, this area had been recognized as a unique ecosystem, providing us with many insights into how the natural world functions and showing us how dynamic ecosystems really are. Today, most visitors come here with one aim alone, to witness millions of wildebeest, zebras gazelles and elands on a mass trek to quench their thirst for water and eat fresh grass. During this great cyclical movement, these ungulates move around the ecosystem in a seasonal pattern, defined by rainfall and grass nutrients. These large herds of animals, on the move can't be witnessed anywhere else. Whereas other famous wildlife parks are fenced, the Serengeti is protected, but unfenced, giving animals enough space to make their return journey, one that they've been doing for millions of years. Read more about the Great Migration, even though, for many travelers, the migration is one of the main reasons to visit Serengeti National Park. It's worth looking beyond this immense spectacle. First of all, nature can't be directed. Having realistic expectations of your chances to witness a river crossing, or a large herd on the move, is crucial. A river crossing for example often only lasts 30 minutes, so can be missed in the blink of an eye. But don't let this discourage you. There are plenty of other reasons to visit the Serengeti. If it's not for this vast stretch of land, where you can drive forever and never get enough, it might be for the incredible skies of dazzling colors, or the primal feeling of excitement, when a deep dark gray thunderstorm appears on the broad horizon, or you might answer the lion's call, and come to the Serengeti for one of the largest concentrations of predators in the world, the herds support about 7,500 hyenas, 3,000 lions and 250 cheetahs, and how about the silent gray giants, elephants in the Serengeti amble over the plains into the woodlands, feasting on leaves and tree branches. Read more about wildlife in Serengeti wildlife, even though animals still rule the plains of the Serengeti. This area has an incredibly long history of human occupation, not only humans, but also human ancestors, Australopithecus afarensi, 
lived in this area for almost four million years. Today, Serengeti National Park is still home to several indigenous tribes. One of the most famous tribes is the Maasai. This tribe is unique and popular due to their long-preserved culture. Despite education, civilization and Western cultural influences, the Maasai people have clung to their traditional way of life, making them a symbol of Tanzanian and Kenyan culture. Read more about the Maasai people. You will soon realize that amazement doesn't have boundaries in this world-renowned national park of Tanzania. Serengeti is a transition area with distinct changeovers going from rich flat soils to poor hilly soils in the north, attracting a wide variety of vegetation and animals. Whether you are looking for big cats, birds or even smaller creatures, Serengeti National Park delivers. Even to understand and experience just a small part of this ecosystem will change your vision on our world and the environment. After being overwhelmed by the vibrancy, variety and vastness of this land, this place of transition will leave you changed forever.